A week of fallout in Goshen after an online video featuring Goshen School Board President John Gray, Superintendent Daryl Edwards, calling it deeply disturbing. Within minutes, school board members' email inboxes were filling up. School board member Deborah Gray received an email at 9.47 Saturday night, reading, John was just arrested as a pedophile. Deborah Gray alerted the superintendent. At first, board members seemed to think there was some kind of mistake. She said, I feel like it's fake. Minutes later, Edwards texts board member Bill Herrera asking if he was getting crazy emails about John Gray. Herrera said he didn't open them and thought there's some serious hacking going on. They quickly learned their school board president was just arrested in the focus of a video in Indiana by Predator Catchers, a group that targets child predators. In the video, John Gray admitted to traveling to Indiana to meet an 11-year-old girl. Edwards texted Gray a link to the video and said, John, please give me a call ASAP. That text went unanswered. Deborah Gray texts the superintendent, my hope is we receive a resignation from him in the next 12 hours or we take action to remove him from the board. I can't sleep on this and am completely sick. John Gray resigned the next day. Herrera texts board member Julie Casey Sunday that a TV guru went to his house. He said if he's not charged or convicted of anything, he could possibly sue us if we said anything at all. Casey replied, I think he has way bigger problems to worry about. I hope. Herrera replied, I just pray he hadn't had any contact with any children previously. I've never been so angry or disgusted in my entire life. Casey said, I was shaking Saturday when I saw it, turned downright angry. We are just as stunned and angry as everyone else. Almost a week later, John Gray is not facing any criminal charges, but we have confirmed he's the focus of two criminal investigations, one in Goshen and one in Randolph County, Indiana, where he was arrested and then released. Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5.